In this following video, I will demonstrate how to set a static IP address and change the server name. Go ahead and open QFinder. Select the device and hit details. As you can see, the server name is currently set to TS470 with a DHCP assigned address of 192.168.0.13. Now you're going to want to make a note of the subnet mask and the gateway. So when you set your static IP address, you set it in the same range. Go ahead and hit connect. And log in with admin credentials. Select control panel. System settings. General settings. Here you could change the server name. Hit apply. Give it a few seconds. Now go back to the queue finder. As you can see. The server name is now QNAP NAS. Once again, make a note of the network settings here. Now let's go set a static IP address. Select control panel, system settings, network. Select the edit icon, use static IP address. Now go ahead and refer back to your notes and set these settings to the correct range. Now, I always like to check that the address I selected isn't being used by another device so we have no IP conflict. So if you're using the Mac, go ahead and open Terminal. If you're using the PC, open the command prompt and enter ping and your IP address. Now, as you can see, I'm getting a response here. So that means this address is already being used by another device, so we can't use it. Let's try 24. There's no device responding there, so we could use this address. Now hit apply. Yes. Services are going to get restarted. Keep it about a minute or so. If needed to, hit refresh. If not, you can see it has a new server name and the new static IP address. Make sure you can connect. And there you have it.